Well, it is a stadium that absolutely oozes history. Here we are at the San Siro in Milan. I'm Derek Ray, ready here on the commentary position, and alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and commentary midfielder Stuart Robson. And we're ready to bring you the second leg of this UEFA Champions League semi-final. It's Inter up against Milan. Well, Derek, Inter have a nice lead, but they'll still need to play well today. If they start quickly and get an early goal, this should be a comfortable win for them. at the Inter team Milan Skriniar plays alongside Alessandro Bastoni in central defence Nicolo Barella plays with Henrik Mkhitaryan in the centre of midfield and in attack Edin Dzeko starts alongside Lautaro Martinez This is the Milan starting 11. The goalkeeper is Ciprian Tatarushanu. Sandro Tonali plays alongside Ismael Benasser in central midfield. And getting the vote of confidence in attack today, Olivier Giroud. And they get the ball rolling in the second leg of this Champions League semi-final. Messias. Ben Asser. Tonali with it. Rafael Leao. It's with Diaz. Went in strongly, decisively. Hendrik Mkhitaryan. Oh, a vital interception. Dzeko. On to Barella. Oh, he's given the ball away. Well, so many reasons to highlight Lautaro Martinez, not least because he can be so effective. Stuart, what do you think we might see from him in this game? Well, it's his ability with the ball at his feet that makes him such a good player. He can go past defenders with ease, he can play in tight areas, and he has that bit of trickery as well. I'm really looking forward to seeing him play today. Martinez. Dzeko. Just the challenge that was required. Davide Calabria. Brahim. Tonali with it. Brahim. Promising looking ball. Benasser. Dumfries. Barella. They've given it away. Brahim. Benassa. Giroud. Diaz. Options in the centre. Is it going to be? And a goal here! They've given themselves a chance, but need one more goal 
to force extra time. Well, here it is again, and I don't expect keepers to save everything at their near post, but I think he should probably do better. He'll be a little bit disappointed with that. Two one is the aggregate lead. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. Well, a goal here, and that would give them a nice cushion. It needs to be a good ball into the box and somebody attacking it. Who's going to get on the end of it? Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. Determined defending. Sandro Tonali. They've lost it. Miki Tarian. Martinez. An unforced error, you've got to say. Brahim. It's with Giroud. Benassa. It's with Diaz. That's excellent defending following the cross. If you're wondering about stoppage time, one minute to be added on. Using his strength to shield the ball. Diaz. And will it be the leveller? And he's done it! Parity again! A magnificent game unfolding! Well, here's the replay, and he shows great awareness to play this through ball. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. Well, the first 45 minutes have come and gone here at the San Siro. And they're underway in the second half of this Champions League semi-final second leg. Well, fine hold-up play here. And a very good challenge. Ben Asser. Brahim and Milan moving the ball with purpose failed to keep hold of it Barella now Dzeko Barella has it Mkhitaryan now can they counter clinically? Messias. This is looking threatening. A disappointing end to the move. De Frey. 
Miki Tarian. It's with Chalanolu. Jekko. Jekko. And a textbook interception. Succeeded in keeping it in play. Looking for that final pass. Looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Crossing opportunity. Decided to come in from the flank. Benasser. Now with Giroud. Chance here. And a goal! That can make all the difference. They'll be determined not to lose this lead. Well, just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. So on aggregate, it stands at 3-2. Just 20 minutes remaining now. Martinez giving the ball to the opposition that time. Junior Messias. It's a promising Milan move. It needs an accurate cross. Calabria. Just couldn't capitalise there. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Brahim. Ten minutes to go then. Well, not the pass he had in mind. Jekko. What can they do from here? Well, possibilities inside the box. And thwarted there following the cross. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Delivering it. Oh, a very fine header, but it wouldn't go in for him. Well, time running out, but a goal here, and surely we'd be looking at extra time. He's driven in the corner. Well, the clearance half-hearted. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. Rebic. On the ball, Rafael Leao. Counter-attacking, very much an option. And it looked like open road for them, but up a dead end. And the electronic board delivers the news. Two minutes of stoppage time. And the sound of the referee's whistle, Milan are going to the final. Well, it was all very tight, but over the two legs, they just had that bit more creativity and made the better chances. They'll certainly be confident going into the next round. I think it's accurate to say, Stuart, that this man was the light bringer for his side. Well, he did everything today. His energy, skill and movement was just too good for those defenders. It was a really good display.